RH, formerly Restoration Hardware, is an American home furnishings company headquartered in Corta Madera, California. The company sells its merchandise through its retail stores, catalog, and online. As of August, 2018, the company operated a total of 70 galleries, 18 full-line design galleries, and 6 baby and child galleries. The company also has 36 outlet stores in the United States and Canada. Topic History Stephen Gordon founded Restoration Hardware in Eureka, CA in 1979 while restoring a Victorian home and finding affordable, high-quality hardware and fixtures unavailable. Mr. Gordon honed his merchandising skills for 10 years expanding slowly in Northern California and Boston before raising outside capital from Cardinal Investments allowing accelerated expansion. The company had 47 stores when it went public in 1998, ending the year at over 65 stores and commencing a rapid expansion to over 100 stores in 31 states reaching $369.5 million in net sales by 2001. Gary Friedman joined the company from Williams-Sonoma in 2001 as chief executive officer after being passed over for the CEO position at Williams-Sonoma by Howard Lester when Restoration Hardware's sales were waning and the company was seeking additional capital. In 2005, Gordon left the company in order to take over as CEO of Robert Redford's Sundance Catalog Company. In 2007, Sears Holdings Corporation announced the purchase of a 13.7% share of Restoration Hardware, prompting speculation that Sears Holdings might attempt a full takeover. After the bursting of the United States housing bubble, the company was slated to close two stores in 2008 including the original store located in the heart of Old Town Eureka, and open one in Canada. In June 2008, the company completed the transaction without Sears Holding, but instead with Catterton Partners. As of June 18, 2008, the company was no longer publicly traded. That year, the company also launched its baby and child line. In 2012, Restoration Hardware underwent an initial public offering trading at $24 a share at its opening. Restoration Hardware Holdings, Inc.'s common stock now trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol RH. Upon this move the company renamed itself RH, removing the rest of the company name's letters from its official nomenclature. About 65% of the company's products come from overseas, particularly from contract manufacturers in southern China. The company is also the largest importer of Belgian linen and Italian bedding in the United States. RH created a small spaces line in 2012, composed of furnishings scaled down for smaller living spaces. The 2014 Small Spaces Source Book depicts 18 different smaller scale homes in the United States and Europe. In 2013, RH also released the Objects of Curiosity source book, showing character pieces, artifacts, and unique decor. The Tableware line was released in 2013. In 2012, the company also encountered some accusations of copying the designs of other companies, specifically those used for the U.S. military. On March 7, 2013, Restoration Hardware opened a gallery in Boston's Back Bay in an 1864 brick and brownstone structure at 234 Berkeley Street. In May 2013, the company announced a multi-channel RH contemporary art platform when it acquired the first edition of Rain Room by Random International with exclusive showing rights in North America. RH loaned Rain Room to the Museum of Modern Art in New York for the U.S. premiere or Expo 1, New York from mid-May through July 2013. In 2014, RH opened a 70,000-square-foot store which Atlanta Magazine called RH's Next Generation Full-Line Design Gallery, which includes amenities like a 50-foot infinite pool. RH operates two stores in Canada, one full-line store at Yorkdale Shopping Centre in Toronto, where Sears Canada formerly operated, and an outlet at Toronto Premium Outlets in Halton Hills. Topic. Source books 
Time magazine was critical of the company for its large catalog called the source book for its length 992 pages, specifically its waste of paper. The full 2014 catalog weighed 17 pounds and had over 3,000 pages. The company stated that by combining all of the different sourcebooks into one package it reduced their carbon footprint, while critics still stated that the volume of paper used for the publication's mass delivery was wasteful. Topic. Design philosophy As of September 2010, company representatives declared a change in focus for the company. In an attempt to go further, up market, the company has focused itself on furniture gallery offerings at higher price points to distinguish itself from competitors like Pottery Barn. Locations have begun adding the term, gallery, to their markets to indicate the change. The company designs, markets, and sells its collections through its retail stores, source books, and online. The San Francisco Chronicle has reported that, "...one of the key strategies that set RH apart is its approach to inventory. While most retailers design things in-house, RH created a different model." Quote, we have one full-time designer, Susie Bolognese, working directly from London on our catalogues and displays. Its CEO Friedman said, quote, We find artists we love and curate the client. Quote, quote, the company has partnered with artisans and designers in the production of its lines. Jim Cramer of CNBC stated that source books were a tactic to move past the four walls of the web and to make it exciting for people to shop again. He also stated that RH is a market disruptor, often to the point that it disrupts itself. In a different piece, Kramer stated that the company was reinventing the concept of the brick and mortar store, including the use of very large flagship stores in unusual locations. Topic executives Gary Friedman was the company's chairman and co-chief executive officer from 2001 until his resignation in 2012 following an independent report from Weil, Gotchel and Manges into his inappropriate romantic relationship with a younger female employee. Following his dismissal, Friedman continued the relationship with the woman. He was reappointed as co-CEO and chairman in July 2013. The company also announced that concurrent with Mr. Friedman's appointment, RH acquired the exclusive right to develop hierarchy and that the new concept would be rebranded as RH Atelier, focusing on the development of luxury apparel, accessories, footwear, and jewelry. Carlos Alberini joined as co-CEO in 2010, but resigned in 2013 to accept a position as CEO of Lucky Brand Jeans, upon which Friedman became the chairman and CEO of the company. <laughs> 